To head off on an adventure means to head off into the unknown and face many unexpected surprises. You are no doubt aware that Solar Impulse has had to temporarily postpone its round-the-world voyage and will start again next spring. But this journey has already been so extraordinary that I must carry on telling you all about it. So, children, after leaving Nanjing for Hawaii, Solar Impulse had to divert to Nagoya in Japan because of poor weather conditions. But it had flown some 44 hours and more than 1,600 miles nonstop. Another fantastic record. That's amazing, but did the ground support have enough time to set up the mobile hangar? Unfortunately not. They had to improvise on this occasion because the hangar would only arrive 24 hours later. So in the meantime, a separate team organized by the MCC from Monaco maintained the plane for more than 20 hours on the ground. What's more, a storm had damaged some of the solar cells, but everything was soon repaired. But let's go back some months to see the pilot's preparation. For every flight, they have to be at the peak of their fitness, and so have to train like top athletes. So here is Andre in a decompression chamber. They're checking how much oxygen he will need when flying. And here, Bertrand is in a flight simulator. Both pilots each spent three days and three nights in a replica cockpit to learn how to pilot this very unusual plane. Yeah, yeah. It's just a big video game, isn't it? Not at all, Grumo. Those screens replicate a flight path between the United States and Spain. What they found most surprising was getting used to piloting in a much slower way, because everything is slower on solar impulse. So during these 72 hours, the endurance levels of our heroes was checked, together with the quality of their rest, as well as the ease of use of the equipment all helping to design a very functional plane interior. Ah, uh, there's a toothbrush! I can't stand brushing my teeth! Yes, I can smell that, Grumo. Oh, now, now, PC. When flying, it's impossible to sleep for long periods, so they learn to sleep for 20 minutes at a time. Each to their own, as you will see. And what are all those wires? Those electrodes are to check both heart and brain activity. When pressing this button, Bertrand tests his reflexes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep saying this. They're just having a good time. You're right, Grumo. It looks like they're having fun. But you'll see that the next stage was not so easy. Here, they're training in the event of serious technical problems. And here, they're learning how to eject from the plane. And in this wind tunnel, it's a simulated parachute drop. Wow. How cool is that? And here, diving into the pool with all their kit. Before they practice in the North Sea at opening their parachute as well as taking out and inflating their life raft in water. And what's that? Some kind of firework? There. There, they are practicing with distress flares. Absolutely indispensable if you land on water. In conclusion, children, to fly solar impulse requires great discipline and efforts. But this discipline rewards our pilots with great pleasure. You could say they were having fun right from the start. As it helps them to make their dreams come true. Are you inspired? <laughs>